What's going on everybody? We have ourselves a submission back from CGC. This is our first submission here at the new shop. So hopefully you do like the background. There's gonna be some things that change throughout as I get a feel for the new space. However, let me cut this box open and let me show you what cards were submitted. So I'm trying something new with the face cam here. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it, but we're going to be starting off with a Mewtwo V-Star from Crown Zenith. Very nice card here with a 9.5. Sticking with Pokemon, we got a Serena from Silver Tempest in a 10. Cannot complain about having a nice trainer, especially one uh, that people enjoy in a 10 here. I got to get used to this face cam thing. I really like it. If you guys don't like it, let me know. I won't do it. Uh, I know I'm in the bottom of the screen here. But if you guys like the face cam, let me know. Uh, we have an Erica's Invitation in Japanese from 151 in a nice 10. Man, we are starting off pretty good. And I'm not gonna lie, I did see some gold pristine labels. Speaking of gold, how about this Palkia here from V-Star Universe, banging out a 10. Definitely enjoy this little streak that we're on here. Actually, let me have these cards set aside. Hopefully this table that the camera you're looking at the cards here isn't too wobbly. I'm trying in my best here just to make things look very professional and very aesthetically pleasing for you guys. So again, any comments, suggestions, feedback about the setup, please let me know. We have a drowsy from Scarlet and Violet base in a 9.5. Still a very sharp, sharp looking card here. Arceus V Star from Brilliant Stars in a 10. All the Scarlet, uh, not Scarlet, uh, Sword and Shield boxes and sets are going up and from that the cards themselves are. Or maybe the cards are going up and that's causing the sets to go up. Hmm, what came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Paldea Evolved Squawkabilly EX in a 10. Very sharp looking card. I, mean, I love the start that we're on here. This is an absolutely killer start. We got a Clara in a 10 from the premium collection that she was on. Very, very nice 10 here. What a crazy start. I, mean, I don't know what, what to say right now besides, wow, what a beautiful 10. We got a Grievert in a 10 from Scarlet and Violet base. So a couple base cards getting submitted or base from Scarlet and Violet, that is. We got a Reverum EX in a 10. Man, I, this card looks like a gold. I, obviously, it's not. It's part of the artwork. But, you know, when I first pulled it out, I was like, ooh, another gold, you know, like the Palkia was. So we have that in a luxurious 10. Charizard EX, Ruler of the Black Flame in a 10, which is the Japanese version or half of the English's Obsidian Flame because Japanese has two sets for every one English set. Very weird, but it's just how they do it. We have a Palafin. This is see, Shiny Treasures EX. Was that Paradox Rift? I think it was. A ten. I mean, the stack of 10s here on the side is just absolutely absurd. Almond Knight, 10. Some Japanese cards here. Japanese cards always, always do well. They're just simply better conditioned than the American counterparts. Not oh, oh, gosh. Dude. We got a 10 on the Mu EX gold medal card. That is big time. That is awesome. Oh, I don't know if I sent this out or not. I, some of my cards are in this set, uh, in this submission, I should say. I don't know if this is one of the ones that I sent out or not. If it is, if it is, I might keep it. Whoever's this card is, if it's not mine, I'm, I'm interested. I'm absolutely interested. That, wow, what a, wowzers. Suicune V, I, I know when I was, uh, when this, set first came out and when I was still learning about the different kind of Pokemon. Suicune, see you soon. It was it was just it was fun. You know, just like uh scissor, size or, or or skizzer, you know, just like to have some fun. But another ten though, speaking of fun, let's rock out with another ten and here's one of the pristine gold labels. What a beautiful Pikachu play from Pokemon Attendance. A pristine ten with Charizard in the background, Pikachu versus Charizard. Very, very nice. I have the, the boom arm that you guys can see in my face cam here, kind of in the way here. Hopefully the cards are being picked up in the, in, in the footage down here, because again, trying stuff out that's new to me. Hopefully that it looks good for you guys. Uh, we got a Caitlin Clark, I think we're switching to Pokemon, um, from Pokemon to sports. Uh, Caitlin Clark, Bowman Chrome first in an 
not ideal, but I think we have a 10 to kind of back it up with. This is when she broke the NCAA women's all-time scoring record, 3,528. Crazy career she had, really you know, reigniting WNBA. But that's nice to have a 10 added to our 10 pile. Oh, baby! Look at that! Wow! I think my voice just cracked a little bit. I did not expect this. So look at that. We have a 10 and then a pristine 10. A truck's driving by honking the horn or slamming the horn, whatever. And, man, three of them. All right. Two 10s, a pristine 10 out of the Bowman U now. It's like tops now, but it's Bowman U now. Very nice card. Uh, definitely makes up for the Bowman Chrome U base or Bowman U Chrome based. That got an 8.5. Zay Flowers Contours in a 10. Was CGC nice to me this time around? Because the stack of 10s that I have is crazy. This is like that submission that we had one time. Uh, it was Chance's submission. It was just annihilating 10s left and right. It was just unfathomable the amount of 10s that we got. This is very similar, guys. This is very similar. And of course, as I say something, we get a Trevor Lawrence in a 9 from Origins. Origins base, but still a very nice card. I love the look of Origins time and time again. Just really super cool. But that is our first nine. A couple nine fives, two nine fives actually. One nine, eight five, and then a monstrosity of a stack of tens. And speaking of such, we got a blue scope Mac Jones. A lot of chatter around here now that he's not um, with the Patriots that he might get some action in Jacksonville, which he very well could if Trevor Lawrence misses any time. And you you give any quarterback the right players around them, they should be in a position to do good. Speaking of Mac Jones, we got a nice red and blue die cut in a 10. Couple Mac Jones 10s. We have another Mac Jones. This is SP Pink, the number, number two, 175. A few Mac Jones cards, all coming back 10s, guys. I cannot wait to show the stack of 10s that we have. I, I cannot wait. Switching back to Pokemon here, again, I don't know where it transitions from sports to Pokemon or whatever, but we got a Kingler first edition from Fossil in a nine. We'll take that, absolutely. Is this, can you see this stack? Not yet. I'm gonna slide this 10 stack over because you will start to see it on the screen soon if we're able to keep up with this crazy stretch that we're on here. We have a Brock's Rhydon Jim Booster 1 Leaders Stadium Hollow. That's a mouthful right there, but this is a 9. Very nice card. The Hollow, I'm trying to show it to you guys here on camera. Looks pretty crispy. Looks pretty, pretty clean. So, that's a nice card there. Uh, speaking of um, good grades, I guess. Maybe I got too excited. Maybe I jinxed myself a little bit. We have a Zapdos Shadowless Hollow and a 7, though. It's a nice card, glad it's graded, but in a seven, I'm We have a Randy Moss black and gold squares in a 10. The black label looks really good with this black and gold insert. Very, very sharp, very nice card. It is numbered 14 of 50. You guys can see it right there. Very, very nice card. Add that to the 10 pile that you guys are Maybe like one or two more cards, you'll see it. Let's add to the pile. Alec Pierce, gold laser, auto, in a 10. I think you guys are seeing it. Yep, it's right there. Don't worry, we got, oh, oh an enchanted Cinderella, rainbow foil, in a 10. This is nuts. Cinderella enchanted from Rise of the Floodborne, the second set. What a beautiful, what a beautiful card. Oh, the black on the enchanted rainbow foil just, oof, my goodness gracious. Oh, I kind of have to dial it back a little bit. We got a Bryce Young Silver Mosaic and a nine. You know, it's, it's bringing us back to earth. Is that? I don't know if that's like a little line right there. I don't know if that's on the card or not. But we got a few more. Oh, an 8, though? A reactive blue 8? Oh, man. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Oh, my God. This card. I hope this isn't mine. Please don't be mine. 
A four and a <laughs> A four and a half? What happened? Guys, what happened? There's a juicy print line going right across there. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. It's right there. It looks like it blends in with the mosaic look, but there's, see, these mosaic cards, they're kind of tough because they got lines going up and down for the mosaic, you know, parallel kind of look to it. I don't know what to do with that card. Oh my God. Okay, we'll take a nine. Yeah, we'll absolutely take a nine. That's a good bounce back there. Oh man, I think I sent out those Bryce Youngs. I think those were mine. Not ideal, guys. Not ideal. We have an 8-5 on the Anthony Richardson NFL debut. Better than a 4.5, that is for sure. Got a nice nah, green Anthony Richardson in a 9. We got a few more left, guys. We got a Justin Fields Press Proof Premium in a 10. It's very nice to get back on the 10 train here. As you guys can very well see the stack of 10s that we have here. But the stack of 9s and everything else is, start, is growing pretty quick. Iron Valiant EX in a 10. Very nice card from Paradox Rift. I'm a big fan of Paradox Rift, personally. And our last card, our final card of the submission, is going to be a pristine 10 Iron Valiant. Guys, I did not plan this, I promise you. But what an absolute way to wrap up this submission. We had our highs, we had a couple lows, we did pretty well all throughout, but man, to end it on a 10 and then a pristine 10, absolutely going to take that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of submission reveal videos. I really do hope you enjoyed the, back, uh, the backdrop, the face cam, the over, the bird's eye view of the submission reveal. And if you guys did, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button, comment below, subscribe, join the channel membership program, click all the buttons you guys know and love to do. But like I said, that will wrap it up for this video. I've queued up an excellent video right here for you guys that I do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors. Hopefully, I'll see you in that one.